I may have introduced a homewrecker into my tank by introducing this bicolor angel. If you've been following my channel and reef aquarium videos, you're probably wondering why on earth did I bring an angelfish into my soon-to-be reef aquarium? Well, the bicolor angel is actually a dwarf angel, and it will not grow as large as other angels such as the majestic-looking queen angels or emperor angels. This bicolor angel will only reach about four inches in captivity, and can be placed in reef tanks with some caution. So what does that mean? Well, it simply means that some bicolor angels do better than others around coral. They've been known to nip, and if your bicolor likes to nip on coral, you may be in for a difficult time. Now I've had three bicolor angels over the years, this one being the third, and my previous two showed little to no interest in any of the coral I had, and I'm hoping for the same good fortune with this guy. Bicolor angels are one of the most striking angel fish, what with their contrasting blue and yellow coloration. And despite their intense coloration, they often take a second seat to the more popular flame angel fish. Since only one dwarf angel can be kept in an aquarium, many hobbyists often have to make the difficult choice when choosing which one of the dwarf angels they will bring into their tank. Other popular choices include the potter's angel, coral beauty, and lemon peel angel. Unlike many larger angelfish, the dwarf angels keep their same color patterns as they grow. The bicolor angel is often described as having a semi-aggressive temperament. In my experience, I've never observed any issues between my bicolor angels and other fish in the tank. And based on my observations, bicolors don't appear to be nippers or biters or chasers. When other fish encroach on their personal space, they turn sideways and do a sort of shimmy shimmy shake dance as they move closer to the intruder. I suppose in the fish world, this body language means, you better get away from me and my rock. Bicolor angels are a relatively easy fish to care for in the aquarium. They require an omnivorous diet of algae and meaty foods. Prime Reef, Formula One, Formula Two frozen foods are good choices. When selecting a bicolor from the fish store, it's a good idea to ask the fish guy to feed the fish. If the bicolor doesn't eat, you may want to avoid buying him because some bicolors can be picky eaters. The angel you see here is not a picky eater. Although he did not eat much, if anything, during the first few days after he was introduced to the tank, he is now very active at feeding times, darting around all over the tank and picking up as many bits of food as he can. Here's the tank conditions that the bicolor angels like. Now these conditions are pretty typical for most saltwater fish. Bicolor angel fish are hermaphroditic, and there has been very little success in breeding these in the aquarium, so I'm not going to discuss that topic here. You will want a tank that is at least 40 gallons, with moderate water flow and plenty of rock work from which your bicolor could graze. The bicolor angel is a graceful swimmer whose bright flashy colors will draw a lot of attention within your reef tank. But just remember, only one dwarf angel per tank, and be careful and observant if introducing this angel to coral. Now thank you for checking out my video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing and takes only a click. Check out my other reef-related videos here on Go Hobby.